Hello, thank you for coming to today's game. Uh, I know we have to do this virtually because of COVID, but uh, looking forward to it. Opening day, opening day is always a great time. Every team is zero and zero. Everybody is enthusiastic about the possibility of their team being in the playoffs. And I don't think that we're any different. Uh, today, I have uh, Giolito going up as our opening day starter. Obviously, he's the best choice and um, because he's our ace. And uh, we purposely set him up so that he could start today's opener against the Kansas City Royals. Looking forward to it. Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z. And I'm here today to announce the opening game of the 2020 season for the Chicago White Sox as they take on the Kansas City Royals. We are at home today, and the White Sox will have Lucas Giolito going on the mound, as you heard from... Bob Zolke in his pre-game conference, press conference. And the Royals will send up Brady Singer. So uh, let's go over the uh, lineup for the Kansas City Royals. They will have Alberto Mondesi at shortstop. Nicky Lopez at second base, batting second. Salvador Perez, the catcher, batting third. Mikhail Franco at third base, batting fourth. George Soler, the right fielder, batting fifth. Batting sixth will be the first baseman, Hunter Dozier. Batting seventh is Whit Merrifield, the left fielder. And batting eighth uh, for the uh, Royals is the DH, Ryan O'Hearn. And ninth will be Oliveris in center field. And for Bob Zolke's White Sox. The lineup will be Tim Anderson leading off, playing shortstop. Johan Moncada playing third base, batting second. Jose Abreu at first base, batting third. Eloy Jimenez in left field, batting fourth. Encarnacion will be the DH and batting fifth today. Uh, Yasmani Grandal will do the catching for the White Sox today, and he bats sixth. Batting seventh will be Lewis Robert, the center fielder. Nomar Mazzara will be in right field, batting eighth. And batting ninth will be Danny Mendick, the second baseman. So, yeah, let's get on with this. And let me see. And the leadoff batter, Mondesi, is going to ground out. One away. Here's Nicky Lopez, and he strikes out. Giolito whipping him. And that brings up Salvador Perez, and he's going to rip a single. The White Sox get the ball back in, and that brings up Mikhail Franco. And he is going to hit it deep. It's deep. Back to the wall. It's a home run from Mikhail Franco. And just like that, Kansas City is up to nothing. That brings up George Soler. And he strikes out. So Kansas City's retired finally, but 
after getting two runs. And uh, they send Brady Singer out there. He'll face uh, Timmy Anderson in the leadoff spot. And he strikes out. And that brings up uh, Moncada. He'll swing away. And he's going to hit a single. So let's see if the White Sox can repeat what the Kansas City Royals managed to do in the first inning with Abreu up at the plate. And that was a pass ball. Got past the catcher, Salvador Perez. And so Moncada moves to second. And here is Abreu. And he is going to fly out. So that's two down. He flies out to Oliveris. And that brings up Jimenez. And Jimenez is going to probably miss that home run. He hits it deep to the wall. Merrifield back. And he does bring it in. So they almost repeated the feat, but they didn't quite. And Hunter Dozier is up to lead off for Kansas City. And he lines out. Brings up Whit Merrifield with one down. And he strikes out. And, uh, yeah, Giolito starting, starting the second inning off the way he started the... Uh, First, but he does get out of this inning with no damage done as he retires O'Hearn on a ground ball. And Canarcion comes up to face Singer. And he strikes out. That brings up Grandall. And he is going to be out. He grounds out to Mondesi. And up steps Lewis Robert, and he's going to swing away. And he is going to hit a ground ball to the second baseman, Lopez. And he's out. So the White Sox have been retired in the second. They only have one hit and no runs, while Kansas City has two hits and two runs. Olivares is up at the plate, facing Giolito, and he gets a single. That brings up Mondesi, and that's going to be a bunt. They're going to try the bunt, and it's successful, and he beats it out to beat to uh, to boot. So they now have runners at first and second, no outs, and a, a walk to Nicky Lopez. So now the bases are full of Kansas City Royals, and Salvador Perez is the dangerous man and ripping a single to left field. The White Sox will throw it in and stop the run from the runners from advancing any more than that. And they now have a 4-0 lead with no outs. And Mikhail Franco up, the man who hit the two-run home run in the first inning, now flies out. And that brings up Orge Soler, and he strikes out. And that brings up Hunter Dozier. And Hunter Dozier is going to line out, and that will be that for the Royals. But they get another two runs, and they have taken now a 4 nothing lead. And Mazzara is up at the plate. And he grounds out to Lopez at second. Danny Mendick is up. And he is going to fly out to center field, Oliveris, to play it. And that brings up Timmy Anderson. And Timmy Anderson's going to ground out to Lopez. So the White Sox not getting much going here. They really need to get their offense um, out of the uh, out of the out of the ditch. But uh, Giolito goes out there knowing he pretty much should. Have to hold, he has to hold them down to no more runs from this point on. And Merrifield strikes out. One of their better hitters. O'Hearn is up and he lines out. And that brings up Oliveris. And Oliveris is going to hit a ground ball. Anderson over, throws to first, and they get him. So 
Giolito manages to get out of that inning. We go to the bottom of the fourth. The Royals still leading 4 nothing. Johan Moncada up. And he's going to hit a fly ball to Olivares. That's one down for the White Sox here in the bottom of the fourth. That brings up Abreu. And he walks. So let's see if the White Sox can get something going here against uh, Brady Singer, who has been magnificent to this point. And that's going to be a ground ball to shortstop by Jimenez. And uh, that's only, they only get one on that. So Encarnacion's up with two down. And Jimenez at first. And he hits a ground ball to the second baseman. And they will play it. And that's it for that inning. We go to the top of the fifth. Giolito pitching to Mondesi and strikes him out. That brings up Nicky Lopez. Nicky Lopez strikes out. And that brings up Perez, who's two for two on the day with two RBIs. And he is going to foul out to Grandall. And then Grandall leads off for the White Sox here in the bottom of the fifth inning. And he's going to walk. So he gets aboard. The White Sox looking to start something here. Lewis Robert up. And Lewis Robert is going to fly out to Olivares. One down. And Lewis Robert is out and Mazzara up. And Mazzara, that ball is going to get past the catcher and allow Grandall to move to second. One down. They need, they've got to have some runs here pretty soon. But he hits a ground ball to Lopez and will be retired. Mendick up with a man 90 feet away. He hits a ground ball to third. That's Franco. And he gets him. Just barely gets him. And we've got Franco leading off, as has happened already once in this game with Grand Dahl. Uh, that'll be a single from a Kyle Franco, and that's got, that's two hits for him on the day, including a big two-run home run in first inning. Soler is up. And Soler strikes out. So there's one down. Dozier is up, and Dozier strikes out. And that brings up Merrifield. And Merrifield is going to hit a ground ball to first base. Surprisingly, one of their better hitters, and he's 0 for 3 on the day. But uh, Singer, though, has been untouchable by the White Sox, and Anderson's going to lead off here against him. And he hits the ball on the ground to Monsey, and that is an out. Moncada's up. And Moncada is going to hit a ball on the ground to Lopez. And that's Abreu coming up with two down. And Abreu hits the ball way back. Oliveris back on it, but it looks like that's got the distance, and it's going to be gone. <laughs> And so we have one run for the White Sox, but they're still down by three, so they're not out of the woods yet. And that's going to be a line out by Eloy Jimenez. Giolito still out there, knows he has to hold the team down. Here is O'Hearn, and he strikes out. O'Hearn 0 for 3 on the day now. And that brings up Olivares. Olivares is going to line out. And Mondesi's up. And Mondesi strikes out. So 
It looks like Giolito has settled down since allowing the fourth of the, or two of the four runs. But he is still down by three runs. And that brings up Edwin Encarnacion. And he's going to hit a single, ripping a single from Encarnacion. Grandall up. And Grandall's going to hit the ball to first. Dozier is over to try to play it. And the pitcher is injured, and uh, he can continue on in the game. And But he did make the play. So we have Robert up at the plate with Encarnacion at second and one down. And that's going to be a strikeout. So the White Sox are not doing any kind of, really, any kind of hitting but not even timely hitting with runners um, in scoring position. Mazzara is up at the plate. He hits the ground ball to first to Dozier, and he beats the throw. So that's – pitcher is injured, and he's okay. So he's injured for the second time this inning, but still remains in the game, much to the White Sox chagrin. And Danny Mendick is up. And Danny Mendick gets a hold of one – but Solaire is going to camp under it, and that is going to be that. Zolke goes to the bullpen, and he brings out Jimmy Cordero to face Nicky Lopez. And Nicky Lopez is going to hit the ball to Robert. That should be the first out of the inning, and it is as Robert puts it away. Salvador Perez is up, and he strikes out. Two for four on the day now for Perez with two RBIs and Mikhail Franco, who has been a stick in their butt, and he is continues to do that as he hits a single to left. The White Sox get it in, and Soler is up. And Soler goes down on strikes. So Cordero comes out. He just allows the one hit, no runs. The White Sox still down by three. Brady Singer is still out there, and Tim Anderson is the first batter he will face. And he hits a single. So the White Sox need to get something going very quickly here. They're still down by three. And Anderson's going to try to stretch it, and he does. No, he doesn't. Hmm. So he was out, and uh, he was out trying to stretch a uh, uh, trying to stretch that hit, and Moncada's up, and that's going to be the second out, and uh, up steps a Brave, and a Brave is going to hit the ball to center field. Oliveris is running after it. And it bounces off the fence for a double for Abreu, and Jimenez is up. Let's see what they do. Yeah, they're going to bring in a reliever. They're bringing in Jesse Hahn to face Jimenez. And he is going to hit the ball deep to the wall, but not quite deep enough. So that is the end of the inning, and we go to the top of the ninth. White Sox still down by three. Hunter Dozier is going to line out. Merrifield's up. And Merrifield is going to pop out. That's two down for Kansas City. Merrifield 0 for 4 on the day, surprisingly. And O'Hearn is up. And O'Hearn is going to hit the ball on the ground to Mendick. And he's going to come up and play the ball. And it's an out. So we go here to the bottom of the ninth. Han is still out there pitching, and Canarcion will lead off against him. And he's going to hit the ball deep to the wall. The wind not helping the White Sox today, though. Knocks it down, and it's going to be an out. Grandall is up. And Grandall strikes out. And with two down, 
That is going to bring up Lewis Robert. The last hope here, and he is going to get a... Looks like he's hitting it deep to the wall, and this one's going to hit the wall and bounce off for a double. Mazar is up. He's a home run hitter, so you got to keep him out there. He hits the ball at second base, and they make the play, and that is the final out of the game. We go to the get the box score. You can see uh, Singer pitched brilliantly, seven and two thirds, allowed six hits and one earned run. And Giolito did not pitch brilliantly. He allowed seven, or he allowed six hits and walked one in seven innings, but gave up a home run and uh, uh, and four, yeah, four earned runs. So the White Sox dropped this one by the score of four to one in the opener. And they will take on the uh, White Sox, or they'll take on the Royals tomorrow in another game and hope that they can bounce back. But that's it for me. Sportsman Z signing off for the White Sox Network. All right, all right. Uh, taking your questions, you can send them in because uh, you know we don't have uh, we don't have uh, live press conferences because of COVID. First question: How do you think the team played overall? Well, obviously not very well, especially on the offensive side of the ball. I mean, I think we could have been better at uh, pitching too. I mean, all around, it really wasn't that great of an effort. When you lose 4-1, to one, you were never really very close. Next question. Should you have taken Giolito out earlier? No, I don't think I should have taken Giolito out earlier. As a matter of fact, he seemed to get stronger as the game went on, and by the time I did take him out, he seemed to have been in a groove and had Kansas City shut down, but... By that time, it was too late. Isn't it kind of embarrassing losing your opening day game to a team as bad as the Royals? All right, that's it. I'm out.